All right, folks, quick story time. One of the subscribers, um, he wanted to know a little bit more about the work we do and uh, a little bit more detail about how we go about getting cars and all that stuff, well, and the things we go through. I'll tell you a quick story. Quick story time. My son goes to buy a car, okay? Now I get a phone call. Yeah, I have a car I want to sell. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I, first of all, look where the fuck I am right now. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm under the L, Southern Boulevard, South Bronx, you know, rainstorm, whatever. This is the backdrop of my life. I go home to the suburbs at night and I kiss the ground pretty much when I get out of my car. Okay, my son, I send him for a car. I always screen the calls, especially when I send the workers, my son, whoever. And sounds like a nice guy, he's an African man. He, I want to sell my car, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no problem, whatever. You, you got it. So, it's in the Bronx. Now, I call my son, say, Brandon, you got a car to buy. Give him all the details. I'm on it. No problem, he leaves. So, about whatever, an hour goes by. He calls me up. Dad, you're not going to fucking believe what happened. When I hear that, I'm a, yo, first thing I say is, you okay? I'm okay, Dad, I'm okay. What happened? He goes, I'm buying a fucking car, right? He said, guy's there, the dad is there, the African guy, and the son comes up. Son comes over, and um, he says, well, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here to, with my dad to sell the car. I said, okay, no problem. He says, so we're doing a deal, and... I load the car up, I pay him, I give him 200 bucks, I'm ready to go, the car's on the hook. And now his girlfriend is with him. She said, oh, I'll take the ride for the day. You know, she she was, uh, she got off for the day, so she was taking a ride. So they're together. And next thing you know, he says, Dad, this car screeches up, pulls in front of my truck, jumps out. Three guys get out of the car. The guy looks at me and goes, you got nothing to do with this, so you got nothing to worry about. But this car ain't going nowhere. My son's like, fuck. So he's getting ready to get into his truck, right? So he's not in his truck yet. His girlfriend's in the truck. And they're sitting there, and the guy goes, yo, you know what the fuck I want? And he's like, give me my $200. The guy's like, all right, all right, yo, yo, I got somebody coming, man. Just chill, chill, chill. So these guys were fucking not playing around. They were ready to kill this kid. So my son looks at him and goes, dude, I just gave you $200. Just give him the fucking $200, man. Let's get this over with. He goes, nah, nah, I got this, man. Don't worry about it, man. I got this. Yo, I'm going to take care of this shit, man. Now, the guy's father left, the African guy. You know, he feels the deal is done or whatever. And... Maybe like, gets kid gets on the phone and like a minute later, car pulls up. He goes, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get the money from that guy right there, man. Chill, chill, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. So these guys are fucking pissed, man. It, what ended up happening was, this guy smashed into their car and he was supposed to give him $200, like maybe, whatever. Probably like a week before, because my son's like, well, what's, you know, he's trying to like talk and and he got his car blocked in. They're not letting him fucking leave. You know what I mean? So he's kind of trying to, you know, de-escalate the situation and talk to them. It's like, nah, man, this motherfucker hit my car, man. He owed me $200, man. I want that shit now. My son backs up. All right. He goes, look, I got nothing to do with it, so whatever. Now my son's looking at his truck. He's like, yo, I think I can maybe squeeze out of here if something jumps off. But he thinks the kid's just going to get money, you know? Next thing you know, the, ki the kid's friend pulls up, and he says, oh, I'm going to go get the money right now. He leans into the car, right? And there, other kids are waiting. Now, there's a scene, because, you know, people, are, now everybody's waiting. They want to see what's going to happen. So the whole hood just slows down, you know? And they, they, they saw the way they pulled up. <laughs> Jump out like fucking maniacs. The doors are still open. The fucking kid comes out of the car with a fucking gun and goes, what motherfucker, now what motherfucker? And the whole neighborhood fucking scatters. 
When a gun comes out in the hood, it's like fucking cockroaches with the light on. Boom, they're gone. My son's like, what the fuck? My my, My son's girlfriend is on the phone with my nephew because she knows something just isn't right. She's like, Tristan, a gun just came out. Oh, my God. Brandon fucking jumps in the car. He's like, get down. Throws the fucking car in gear. And just fucking had like a millimeter on each side and fucking squeezed through with this car on the back and was fucking God. He goes, Dad, I can't fucking believe it. The whole neighborhood scattered. I go, you got the fuck out of there, right? He goes, yeah, yeah, I had an inch on each side with my truck. He goes, I just got the fuck out of there. He goes, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I said, Brandon, I'm just glad you're okay. I screened the phone call as good as I could. The guy seemed like a decent guy. He goes, yeah, dad, the the man was an African guy. The the son seemed like a nice kid. He goes, oh, I got to get the fuck out of here. And on to the next deal. And that's the kind of shit that happens out here. Stuff that you just just can't avoid. I I mean, I can't be going around buying cars in Beverly Hills and fucking Southampton. This is where the money's at. But just another day in the hood. Brandon got out of it safe, safe and sound. And you just never know what the fuck's going to happen out here in the hood. Like, comment, subscribe. Another day at work, folks. Oh, I told my son, I said, if you're going to tell mom the story, I said, just kind of like soften it up a little bit. But it's hard to soften up a story when a gun gets pulled out. Ah. <sighs>